All right, this next gentleman is part of uh, a kind of a leak group of hackers, man. He hacks the unhackable. He's here to tell you why you should be a pirate. Arr. Hey everybody, um, for those who don't know, uh, I am one of the original founders of the Hive 1.3 Hackerspace right here in Cincinnati. I am a reverse engineer, a security expert, um, a hacker, and a pirate. And now, we're going to define piracy, we're not going to say that we're not talking about Somalian pirates or Disney characters. We're going to simplify this definition to simply being the replication of digital good without permission. Now, a digital good it's going to be something that's just could be represented in some way that is, well, digital. This could be um, music, movies, uh, applications, games, operating systems, even artwork. I want to extend it a little bit to talk about replication in the physical world. Uh, places like the Hive 1.3, um, anybody can come in. We have tools such as CNC machines and laser cutters and 3D printers. Uh, they can pretty much replicate physical goods now, just like we could software before. Um, these are available to anybody. Uh, they still have a kind of digital source file to them, uh, which can be ch copied. So these things are things like um, CAD files, vector graphics, maybe a 3D scan of an object. Even a file that has a list of dimensions would also work. When it comes to piracy, I typically hear two arguments. One of them is that if, um, if you know, if there's a loss of profit to the, the authors and the publishers, and the second one is, in the world of piracy, you're just simply not going to have any real good quality products. Uh, they introduce something called DRM. And DRM, what it does is, when, when you get a product, it basically is crippled on your end. You don't really own the product you just purchased anymore. Uh, it, it's added to a, the digital good. They take DRM and they put it on a functional product, make it require keys uh, in order to keep working. It's almost like a self-destruct function. The problem with DRM is, the one thing it doesn't do, it doesn't prevent piracy. Uh, the reason being is because people who have to view the content re are required to have the key. It has to be there. This is fundamentally flawed. Uh, it has never worked, and it never will work. Uh, so what they've done uh, through all this failure is they decided not to fix a broken business model, but instead to start lobbying for new laws. Uh, these laws are really just to protect an older business model and remove some of the rights you used to have. They've been fairly successful with it so far. Um, right now, the way it kind of works is without any kind of warrant, they can see what you search, they can see um, your emails, they can see what you do on um, social networks, even your private direct stuff. If you get something that's a locked device from somewhere, for most of the time, it's not legal to unlock it. They treat everybody here as if they're already a criminal. The problem is <laughs> there's, there's these huge fines. And, and just long jail terms, that's worse than even violent criminals. Now let's just hypothetically say, I build a banana replicator. I go out to the grocery store, I buy a banana, I pop it in, punch a few buttons, and I get two equally delicious bananas. Now I can eat them both, or I can give one to a friend and keep the other. Or I can make more and give it to his friends, or make a basket of them, give it to the homeless shelter. But why don't I use this replicator to maybe put a small dent into just world hunger? Well, it's simple. Chiquita would eventually sue me for a potential loss of, lock of, sorry, potential loss of profits due to my replication of their banana. Now, a loss of profit doesn't actually make my behavior moral. It is not actually society's responsibility to maintain a corporate profit margin. There's actually several reports that show um, that you can actually increase sales uh, with, with piracy. There was one in the UK, the JRC reports, shows a 2% gain in sales in areas where there was high piracy. Uh, if you look at anything involving Game of Thrones and piracy, you can see how well it's helped that show. Now, if you remember, the original, um, the second issue was that in a world of piracy, you're not gonna have good quality goods because everybody's stealing them. You know, the concept is that if publishers can't make a good profit, well, then we don't get anything to buy anymore. Uh, this simply isn't true. Back in the day before everything was commercialized, there was actually was great music, great books, great artwork, and in modern society, we have things like open source software and hardware. These are phenomenal. They're actually in, in everything we use today. That shouldn't even exist in their minds. Um, but it does. And the reason why it does is because creators will create stuff. Consumers will buy them. It's entrepreneurs' jobs to figure out how to make money in this new world. Um, it's not the consumer's responsibility. 
the problem is that it is absolutely immoral to restrict people to maintain a broken business model. Sharing is caring. Team Pirate, thank you. <laughs>